Hello, hello. Welcome back to my journey. Uh, day 60 of 75 hard. Um, today was pretty good overall. I did have, I mean, I got up early to cardio. Uh, really, really cold, but didn't even notice it, so that's good. Um, just early afternoon, I found myself pretty distracted with some stuff that I'm dealing with, but um, I guess it was only a few hours, and then I just went to the gym early, crushed that, came home, and then ate and stuff, and then I had to, uh, I'm building a, a course, and I decided, hey, I'm just going to film the videos tonight, I know I don't really want to, I don't really know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to do it anyways, and then, so I ended up just grinding it out, and it was about 10 videos, I think, and then they went really well, actually, like, I'm surprised, and I actually enjoyed doing them, and um, it was nice, I think, uh, yeah, I was surprised that I actually enjoyed doing them and I actually did them well. And so the course will probably be available, and I'll, I'll speak about that later but um, down the road, but uh, the course will probably be available next week sometime. Uh, I got a buddy that's going to test it out, make sure it's good. I don't want to mislead anyone. I am 100% real. If the, the course is a uh, 10-day money-back guarantee, if you don't, if it doesn't work for you, if you don't enjoy it, if it doesn't make sense, then I will happily refund you. I don't want anyone's money that um, my 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 stuff doesn't help, I guess. And, I mean, with the course, you get me 24-7. Uh, we can Zoom. We can Google Hangouts, whatever. Because um, that's just who I am as a person. Like, I back my any product or service by me. Like, I'm just... I'm authentic, I'm genuine, and I actually give a shit. So with everything I do, especially being, um, just having integrity with everything I do now, I mean, I can't put out anything bad and try charging someone. It's just, it's morally wrong, it's ethically wrong, and it goes against everything that I believe in, so no. Um, but that's that, so yeah, just touching on that, you know, being, being a little bit uh, out of focus early in the afternoon, um, and then catching myself and then just saying, hey, I'm just going to go to the gym instead because I don't have focus with what I'm trying to do right now. So I just went to the gym, crushed it, and then, yeah, I just made a promise to myself. I did that earlier today, I think. I said, I'm going to do all those videos, all those course videos tonight. And, uh, yeah, I did them all. I just decided after I was done eating, okay, yeah, I just ripped through these and I did it. So I think that's that's what 75 Hard's about. Like, you just... You have an agenda and you just do it and then next thing you know you're actually happy with the product like you know anytime you do something that's worth it obviously like if it if it serves you if it adds value to your life or others you never regret it after and then you just have to like get it done and then you feel good once it's done you don't have to worry about anything um, like I said I was surprised I did so well with the with the videos to be honest so it's crazy um, 75 hard is I said it in every video, and I'll continue to say it every video. But it's it's truly changed me. It's it's changed me in ways I can't even explain, and I'm so excited for the future because of the person I'm becoming, and everything is just happening so quick. And what I thought it would take me a year to accomplish, I'm looking ahead now, and I'm like, holy shit! I actually have to like really think about these plans. Like I. Last night, I, I drew up some plans and stuff of my life going forward, you know, within the year. And it's pretty crazy because I actually had to. And I've done this before in my life. And, like, I'm sure every fucking motivational speaker that you listen to will say, like, you got to manifest and you have to. Like, what the fuck is that shitty book, The Secret? Oh, yeah. Um, and I believe in that. Like, you definitely have to visualize and um, and stuff like that, but you obviously have to do the work, like, there's a huge disconnect between just, like, sitting on the fucking couch and being, like, I'm just gonna visualize all this money and wealth and happiness, doesn't fucking work like that, but it was weird, because, like, I've planned out my life before, and, but, like, yes, <clears throat> yesterday, I just seen, like, the reality of things coming together so quickly, and I was, like, holy shit, like, I really have to plan, and, like, um, just one aspect was money so like I was planning you know like you might have an idea of like okay well when I make a lot of money I'm gonna do this and this and this but like the thing is like financially my my income sources are growing exponentially so quick and it's like 
holy shit, okay, like this money's actually going to come in soon. So I actually have to be mindful of where I'm going to put it so that I can, I can scale my businesses. I can, I can take care of the people I need to. I can take care of myself too, um, set myself up good. So it was just a, it was interesting the difference. Like I, planning your life when you, I wouldn't say I'd never like believed in myself, but now it's just like, fuck, like anything I say I'm going to do, I actually do now. And it's just becoming so real. And like, I don't know, just uh, one example is like last, the end of last month, I, I took the sales position at a company and I, I never sold one, but I was like, I'm going to lead the team in sales, uh, this month. I just said it out loud and, um, sure as shit I'm leading the team <laughs> this week and I think actually so far in the month and uh, I mean this week though for sure but um, it's just crazy like you just put thoughts out there and then you just know in your heart that you're going to do it you don't even need to know how but you just know you're going to do it and then you literally do it so now that I can see success with all the shit I'm doing to be honest I just have to like really be careful of my planning in the sense that like you know, like if you, if all of a sudden you start making tons and tons of money, which I'm about to, it's like you actually have to be aware of what you're going to do with it because if it just starts coming in and you're stupid with it, or not even like stupid, let's just say, but if I don't, I don't actively consider like where the best place to put this money is at the time, like each business or like, do I pay off debt? Do I do this? Do I do that? Um, stuff like that. Like, so you just have to be, just be aware. And, um, but it's not like that. It's like that with, with other aspects too, not just money, but like you got to be careful. Um, for example, like my mentality now, um, I I struggle with being around people. Like, no, oh, that sounds bad. I know I can be around people, but it has to be high caliber people now. And so the, the average person, honestly, like it's really tough for me to associate with now, which is sad in some ways, but just the truth, like, I'm really better off by myself now with most of the shit that I do and just day to day kind of thing. So, because it's hard to it's hard to relate to the average person, right? So, if you look at me like I'm, you know, and I'm not fucking like this is just the god honest truth. I'm not bragging or anything, but like I'm so fucking disciplined. I've eaten beef and rice <laughs> twice a day for sixty days now in a row, right? So if you compare like that discipline to the average person who has like next to nothing for discipline, actually to be thoroughly honest um it's really hard to relate to them and then obviously like they have excuses or reasons why or they can't do shit or whatever their life is wherever they're at in their life you know they have some sort of reason or whatever and um i just can't understand it now so it's just there's just with every kind of like relationship i have now with people that i know of i mean i've distanced myself from like pretty much everyone to be honest but um it's just hard to really relate to them because I just can't I'm just like what like I don't get it like you know what why can't you just commit to shit which I mean to be fair like three months ago I couldn't either so it's kind of I mean it, may, it might be hypocritical of me and to some extent but um it's hard for me to just navigate average relationships now I kind of just I don't know how to function I'm just like uh like it's like super foreign to me or like we speak different languages or we just see things dramatically different you know it's I'm so I'm so excited for the future I'm so faithful of of my life like and where it's going and I'm just grateful and I'm filled with all these emotions that are just good I guess <laughs> and just the average person usually isn't usually they're stressed or they're they have a lot of things going on that uh, don't serve them and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely an interesting challenge doing 75 hard. Like I, I'm curious to what other people say. I'm gonna start reaching out to people that have done 75 hard and just see what they say as far as like maintaining current relationships. And I mean, there's a good chance you actually don't want to maintain most of the relationships in your life, to be honest, because they're usually people that um, they aren't good for you. At least the new version of you, for sure, because they've never changed they have no desire to change whereas you are thriving now and and actively changing every day to better yourself so you just become two totally different people and then if you try to continue the same current relationship that you've had you can't and you know and i didn't think that like 
to be honest, I didn't think in two months I could change as much as I've changed. And time has just flown by. Like, I, it's insane to me how fast time has gone. I didn't even realize, like, there's people I haven't talked to in two months. And I was like, what? Like, geez, I didn't even know that. And then, so I think once you just get on, like, the success train, I guess you can call it, you just keep going. And it's just you just hold on I guess and like and just crush it and you're unstoppable but if you tr you know if there's any average people on that train now you're just like what the fuck are you doing here like I don't know it's just hard like it's but it's good right and I think everyone I mean people come and go throughout your life they're supposed to you're supposed to come and go to theirs right there's lots of people that I've helped over over the years and then you know I help them for a certain time you know I we cross paths, we, you know, we help each other out in certain ways at the time, and then we, you know, go our separate ways kind of thing, it's very, like, it's not malicious or anything, it's not, um, it's, it's not bad, it's, like, it's just natural, like, people just, you, sometimes you grow together, sometimes you grow apart, sometimes you're only meant to be friends for a little bit, sometimes you can be significant friends for, like, a few months, or, let's say, six months, and then, next thing you know, you both just, completely changed for the better but just differently and then boom you're just not friends again and so like I can think of a lot of people now in my life that um I just struggle to communicate with to be honest and they uh they're probably not big fans of me either so I get it like I I'm probably I'm really fucking intense these days like but it, it's really good like like I probably come off as like mad or something or angry but it's it's actually the complete opposite if you I mean, discipline is the key to happiness, and, like, now that I'm, now that it's, I have an abundance of it, it's just, like, I'm generally super, super happy every day, and I'm excited for the future, and I'm, I love waking up every day, and, like, just looking forward to all the shit to do, and then, um, going to bed with a smile on my face, and just grateful that I, you know, had the opportunity to, to go through the day, and get everything done and stuff, but, um, like when I'm in the gym, I probably look like an asshole, you know, day to day talking to people, especially like average type people. Like, um, I'm, cause I'm, I'm not a nice person. Like, and I think, uh, um, I don't think you really should be nice. Like, like this is a whole different topic. I'm not going to get into it tonight cause I gotta go to bed, but, um, this world is a masculinity problem or lack of, I guess. And so anyways, I mean, men are not supposed to be nice. Like, you should be good. I want to be good. Like, if anyone comes to my funeral, I want them to say, hey, he was a good guy. Please. You know, that's what I, I want to be good, but I don't want to be nice. I don't want to be stepped on, bent over, fucking anything like that. I'm not nice. Like, I'm, I'm pretty cutthroat, to be honest. And, like, if it's you or me on an island, fuck, it's going to be me. Like, so I think um, that that aggression and that that intensity and that desire to just fucking dominate is just so present in me now so i mean the good people i have in my life they understand it and like um i don't uh you know i don't dive too deep into it but they can tell they're like um and i explain it like you know i might seem on edge but I'm actually really calm, it's just how I present myself, like, it's just, there's just so much energy there, there's so much to give now, and I'm just so determined, I'm, like, <coughs> where's the average person, you know, they're just, like, meh, blah, you know, for example, fuck, hold on, <coughs> I recorded too many videos, my voice is gone, um, so like the main issue we have today, this might be a long video, but the main issue we have society right now is fucking people that are just like, okay, right? It's the university systems. It's a lot of things. This is a long topic. I'm not getting into it, but the average fucking guy now has no balls. And so like back in March of last year when they're like, okay, we got a lot, we're going to lock down it's two weeks. We're like, okay, you got, you got to wear a mask. Okay. It's going to be a month. Okay. You can't operate your business. Okay. <coughs> the average person just gets so fucking pushed around all day. And they're so complacent. Um, that they're numb. Like, they're numb to life. And they're usually heavily medicated. Either self or prescribed via prescription drugs or booze or 
um, other drugs, weed, you know, like weed is fucking horrible for you, to be honest, I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, or, you know, if you think it's, like, yes, it has some medicinal purposes, but it also fucking dumbs you down, it makes you slow, um, but each to their own, I mean, you, if I'm going against you and you like fucking taking bong rips, that's great, because I will destroy you, so, anyways, I'm not fucking complacent, so, anytime there's any sort of controversy between me and another person, or a group or whatever if it's just a if it's just a conversation let's say because i'm so intense and just like i know what i want and like you can't you know i won't be i won't be bent over i'll I'll never submit right to anything and it doesn't mean i'm like a loud arrogant fuck or like you know i'm highly opinionated but i keep it to myself like i don't i don't try to put my opinions on anyone like you do whatever the fuck you want to do but um, I know what works, I know what works for me, so, like, if you're complaining about your life, I'll suggest, hey, like, do 75 hard, you'll say no, and then I'll say, okay, well, then be fucking miserable and hate your life, like, these are your options, right? Um, yeah, sorry, I guess I just ranted a lot, but, I don't know, today was a good day, <laughs> today was a good day, just a little bit of out of focus for a few hours in the early afternoon, and then, um, dialed it in and crushed out those videos, that course is gonna be really good, that course is gonna change a lot of people's lives financially, like a lot, and it's gonna be good. I mean, it's just another another um, aspect of my life I want to serve through. So it's uh, it's really good, guys. This is day sixty. I guess I have fifteen days left, but I'm not quitting. So uh, don't really know how many days I have left. Probably just keep going. I just I don't know. I'm terrified of like going back to my shitty ways, even just a little bit, even the fucking tiniest bit, like, um, like, and the thing is, like, as far as, like, eating, for example, um, it's not even, like, like, I got, I got a friend that wants to bake shit for me, and I'm just, like, it's not even bad, like, it's good, it's, it's relatively healthy baking shit, but it's just, like, no, like, I've only put beef and rice in my mouth for fucking two months, like, I just, I can't eat banana bread, I can't eat a muffin, I can't fucking, like, not even one, like, I'm just, no, like, no, 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 and I just don't even want to, like, I thought about pizza tonight, like, 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 no, I, I don't fucking want to eat pizza at all, but I just thought, like, like, I just imagine, like, if I ate a pizza, and I was just like, no, like, I actually have no desire, which is really, really weird, um, really weird like I don't have any desire for other food than what I'm currently eating and I don't know I don't know why like I know a lot of people really fucking struggle with their eating and they have like they literally have an addiction to food it's probably the most common addiction to be honest but I just don't and like it's gotten to a point now that I'm so set in my ways and like eating the same shit every day because of like for for performance wise like what it does for me I'm like, fuck, like, if I put anything else in my body and it just, like, slows me down or makes me feel like shit or anything, I'm just like, no, I can't do it. Like, I just, I can't, like, and it's weird because, like, most people want to fucking, sadly, they want to, like, hurt themselves. Like, they want to put garbage in their body because it makes them feel good temporary, but for me, it's just, like, no, like, it, it's fucking, it's just, like... A nightmare like I just don't I can't even consider it like I'm just like no like it's weird it's weird because you would think after two months of eating the same fucking thing every day you'd be like god I just want to eat anything else but it's the opposite for me and I don't know I don't know if that's gonna change I mean maybe probably hopefully I don't know like because I, I would like to eat like nice family dinners once in a while <laughs> like sometime in the future I guess but like um, I don't know if I can, like, I'm fucking, I'm so sad and just, like, this is the, you know, like, I have the ticket to the fucking talk the factory, like, I have the key to success here, I'm just, like, I'm not gonna jeopardize it, I'm not gonna consider anything else, I don't know, I don't know, guys, I don't know.